Slicer, slicer Dicer, Self Assembly. Quick slow item. It's missing a couple of subsystems, but this is basically mostly an entire slicer dicer and it puts itself together correctly like almost every time. Level 7 mechanics. Deploys a robot slicer dicer follower that will assist in combat. Self destructs after the combat's ended. We got a pulse gun, which is a level 10 assault rifle. An energy weapon essentially. And a shortened control. Sweet. So when he gets a bit more in mechanics, he will be able to throw a slicer dicer down to help him in combat. Have I not? Yeah, everybody should be coming. What's in here then? What a stink! Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. There's fucking dead bodies everywhere. And we're just gonna pick them apart to pick stuff up. So yeah, let's loot that there. This leathery corpse is missing several of his digits and facial features. Search for a cause of death. First aid. Looks like the exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. Also, the corpse's ankles and wrists have been scarring. Have some scarring. As he's been chained up for a while. Sounds like he's a slave. We've already... We're this guy. This desiccated husk of a man is little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Simple case of starvation and dehydration, but... You notice some scarring on his ankles and wrists, like the other person. Most likely from manacles. Toward skin suggests that it was frequently moved. Sounds like slavers to me. Or he was a slave. There's a pile of corpse in this corner. People died in a variety of ways, most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, a crushed skull in another, a cut throat on a third. They all have some same scar on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses, most likely from manacles towards skin suggest they were frequently moved. So these were all like slaves by the sounds of it and just dumped here when they were murdered. This female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from a swollen torso. Looks like the missing arm had nothing to do with the woman's demise, though. It had been apparently expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seemed to have died from infection or illness. He noticed the same scarring on her ankles and wrists as the other corpses. Looks like these people have been trafficked by slavers. Yeah, I thought so. First aid four, though. Um, do I have any points I can... I think I saved two points, didn't I? I did. So we can put this into first aid. Med Hypo Recipe. Tracing the corpse. Course of the infection's path through the body, you spot a cybernetic implant embedded in her rotting chest. Looks like it's poor insulation was the cause of a fatal infection. Take the implant. Why not? Let's pull her apart. Subdermal plating. You grit your teeth and pry the implant out. Her chest shatters when it finally rips free, spilling liquid in it everywhere. Alright, so first aid is a good one to spec into because it gives you a bit more like story and lets you know what's going on. What's down here? Nothing. Pick lock failure. I look like a booby trap. Disarm explosives. Tripwire. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. What and Zephyr? There was another trap over there. Scooter Bar got high perception, isn't it, to spot all these? 
But this is going to be my armory, is it? What's in here? Trash bag. Energy cells and rockets. What we should do, actually, yeah, it's this. Before we get into another fight, let's make sure Zephyr's rocket is reloaded, just in case. Terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All systems seem normal right now. Check recent activity logs. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. Terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. Alright, step away then. Pick lock this. Great teamwork. Oh, it's explosives level 4. Do I have any points I can put into Zephyr's explode? I don't think I do, do I? No. Damn. Uh, she's miles away from a level up too. I'm going to have to switch to you and then you're going to have to Let's move back first, and then now let's mo let's all move away for a moment, shall we? Come over here. Not sure what the explosive radius really be. All right. Couldn't quite cheese at all. Then what have we got? Molotov cocktail. Create a fiery hazard that damages and inflicts burning to anyone in the area. Nice. Let's all come here, shall we, before we get into a fight. Oh, I missed this. Oh, we got automated chauffeur, sorted control chip, scrap, and crafting opponent turret chassis. Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing her Oh, I missed that. Never mind. Terminal is displaying information about the base. It all seemed normal. Recall elevator platform. Low grinding animates from the huge trap door near the garage. The smell of rusty metal. Manica, blah, blah, blah. Most of the logs appear to be destroyed. Giant server wipe decades ago. This controls from nearby vehicle lift, but currently indicates they're all unresponsive. Oh, that was worth it then, wasn't it? Can we go... Can we listen to that? Oh, yeah, this is a reputation as well for the different groups in the... Like, you know, there will be more eventually, but for now shows us our current reputation with the marshals and our fame overall so we're not very famous right now because we just got our asses handed to us is there anything else to look yeah there's over here as well can't go this way yet because the rebel's not been cleared Here. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Didn't notice there was a container in the corner over here. Very dark. Radical Rachel, creepy doll. She'd like to see the whole world burn. Afterwards, it's her, her own turn. Explosive damage plus 5%. Creepy doll. <laughs> this one in a minute. You fight a creepy dog. Creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy. But they also grant powerful bonuses that benefit your entire squad. So be collecting them will benefit the rest of the game. So everybody's got a permanent 5% um, damage bonus. So that'd be very handy for Zephyr. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive. Or, okay. Which is the pause menu. So... We can listen to this again. Tired of gridlock? Drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. 
Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a... I had no choice, I wasn't paying attention and that thing just walked across and he was about to spot me, so... But it doesn't seem like it was anything extremely... Um, anyway, extremely important. So we're going to leave you on ambush. Marshal Kwan, in case he comes that side, you can go... How much is an ambush? 4 AP, so yeah, you can go here on ambush as well. Price, let's move you up to there. Basically, I want every angle covered on an ambush for... Because it's all the way over there, so I'm not going to be able to move and, like, get a strike in. And then Zephyr with her shotgun going to cost you eight to move there so yeah your combat is quite oh no because you got the okay I guess because you got the rpg on right that explains it so if i move here then you should be able to ambush too so let's see where he goes so price gets to go on and then she gets to go on Nice. Alright, let's see what they were. Wolverine fur. And Wolverine fur. Okay, so there was nothing exciting from all of that. Uh, make sure we're not missing anything. There's a terminal. There's a billboard. What's a billboard say? A fallen billboard. Who put it there? Interesting. Power button on the machine, resist your press, seeing when you rust into place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. Screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure, corrupt detected across multiple sectors, initiating automated repair operations, recovery complete, few logs. So examine personnel logs. There are fewer logs than you'd expect for a place this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a way, find a few that are legible. We don't have nerd stuff, so we can't do any of that. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will make keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We need to prepare and hold it until we reconnect Washington. Filtering tools, hot coal, blah, 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 counter... I'm not going to read all the security logs. I'll just squish. <laughs> if you want to read it, you can pause it. But I don't have the, the patience to sit there and do that nerd stuff. We can't do. Step away. I'm sure there were some fascinating and interesting stories there, but yeah. What's down here? Can we rotate the screen a little bit? No, that's the, the wrong button. There we go. Okay, rotate the screen so we can see what's going on a bit more. It's very dark in here. I can't see what's what, so... Oh, some bones. Which gives us ammunition. And that was it. Is that really all that was here? There's no, like, let's run in the bottom corner here and make sure there's no hidden boxes up here or something. Alright, oh, yeah, some more bones. Colorado dollars and a cigarette butt. Fascinating. Right, let's go back here. Yeah. I see somebody there. I'll have a look at that in a second. This must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Spin it around to make sure there's nothing hidden in the corners. Nope. Nope, wrong button again. 
The food on this table is cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear somebody recently fled mid me that mid meal. So as I said, like the toasters, you need toaster repair to repair it. This is one of them, for example. We need level three, but thankfully we have it. It gives us a Tarjan token, which will become important later on. And it also gives us Toaster Man's Repair Badge. Gives us plus one toaster repair. So we can give that to... Zephyr. She is our toaster repair. Yeah, there we go. The Tarjan token uh, you need to put into a machine later on and it gives you uh, like sort of unique perks. So, but we haven't got to that part of the game yet. So, if you put enough in there, you get like permanent boosts. Let's go see who these weirdos are. Let's save it first, though, just in case we end up into a fight, because we haven't saved it in a while. Make sure it's safe. Please, don't shoot. Dell Hackett. This woman is gone, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. Mammy, I got sweet ass army gear on. We're the rangers, who are you? You're not supposed to be here. We live here. Been sheltering here for months. We've got nowhere to go. So we're asking, begging you to let us stay. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. She shoots a fearful look at Marshal Crond through the wall by the looks of it. But he doesn't seem to notice. <laughs> I'm not surprised there's a fucking giant concrete wall in the way. Where are you from? Did you set off the security? Can't you go live in the city? Yeah, can't you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there. Under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Uh, did you set off the security Not system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarm started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Now, we can tell them they gotta go, or we can tell them they gotta stay. As Marshal Quad said, if they stay, then they're probably gonna cause arguments, or the recruits won't like it. And it is a military base, but do we really want to kick him out? Because they got nowhere else to go. Um, uh, can they stay for now and help out? Your call won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. The refugees' haggard faces breaking the smiles. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and, uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Wardrobe. I mean, it, it, it makes sense to keep him around for now, and then, like, once they've helped clear the base, then kick him out. <laughs> Thank you. 
We got soldiers, note, scrap, dollars, car. October 12th, 1998. Six. No. Seven. Months since the bomb spell. Um. Had an incident at the Westgate. Some civilian. some starving kids and ended up killing himself with guilt. So let's have a word with, what's her name? Dale Hackett again. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Yeah, you've had time to explore the base. Can we ask sure. you about it? Did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, look. Of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. You know anything about the corpses in the med bay? Oh, it's it's Are horrible. Are they the slavers? They were there when we arrived. Probably been rotting away for months from the look of them. Oh, not to mention the smell. No, I guess not. Have you been in the break? What'd you find in the arm? Booby traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Nothing. There was a rocket launcher RPG, but that was about it. Uh, what's in the archive room? We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Have you been in the break? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in, living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I, well, I, I left him locked up after I met him. I, I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but uh, he just kept asking questions that felt off. And those glassy eyes. Anything we could scavenge in the garage? Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. It's fine. It's dead again now, so... <laughs> Right, that's Careful all. out there. It's an uncaring world. Last room. Oh, hey, howdy. Oh, there's the guy. We've got a lot of cells. Pick lock five on that one. Pick lock five on that one. Brick master's key. Was that the key? Yeah? Oh, conveniently left key right on the thing. <laughs> so we can't get out. Attacking object. Yeah, we know about that. So we can't get out because he doesn't have the key and is literally right there in front of his face. And that, all that's in there is a Polaroid photo. Okay. Let's not open his cell just yet. Let's have a chat with him first. Waving at you through the bars of his cell is a pale, rail-thin man with matted hair, fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glass-eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? 
We're the rangers, this is going to be our new headquarters. We're the new landlords, we're in charge here now. Yeah, let's not give him any info. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> new uh, landlords, that's cool, man, cool. I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? Your mom. We came here from Arizona to help the Patriarch. The Rangers here help people. We're here to help Colorado. Stop. Sorry, that's top secret. Oh, sure. Top secret. So you're part of some important organization, huh? You look like you're uh, real important, you know? I can see it in your pretty eyes. Do you have um, more people in your group? That's not something you need to know. We found some recruits in the area. Questions for you. No more questions. How about some answers? Oh yeah, man. Of course. I don't. I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Ned. Ned. Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens, what? Uh, something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I kind of been here for a while. How long have you been in here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like. There's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Why are you in there? Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> 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 Why were you put in there? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? I did, it was good. Kudos. Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. How have you survived in there for so long? You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. Gross. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom go there, man. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. And those mushrooms are growing good. So he's been living off wool water and turd mushroom. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. I couldn't tell you for fucking life of me what any of those actually would be, but... Maybe a squirmy slurp is a snail or a slug, but other than that, I ain't got a fucking clue. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> Silly question, but do you want us to let you out? Oh man, yes. Yes, please. Very much. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really... I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really 
really like to get out of here. Really? We'll see what we can do, no promises. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. Oh, hey, I get it. What's he tells uh, about, yeah, yeah, I was meant to ask you about the other group. Maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kind of kind of hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Oh, that's a bit tired eyes well, lady. She was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know? Where the dead guy? Is there a dead guy in here? Oh man, that's, uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. All right. What do you mean by a little fuzzy? You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I ate a lot of mushrooms. C can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, and there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and uh, the bloody screamers, and uh, and them metal fellers, and the really white guy, and the owl, uh, the owl face. Oh, and the six wee men and the lion. Is he talking about the yellow brick road thing? But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first, and, uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, tell us about the smiling woman, oh, man. Oh, real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. Creepy. I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, to say that. So the smiling woman was the slaver by the sounds of it who was the one who dumped all the bodies in the infirmary. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Cool. So he can kill him. Later dudes, and uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open. And it's a cool character a and everything. And if he's to be believed, then, oh there's a the dead body. And yeah, he he was betrayed. He doesn't really need to be in there. 
You young man lies twisted on the floor. You wear shabby clothes and has been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Check for signs of... I've got perception three. Yeah, let's do that one. Search the body. The man was carrying nothing but clothes he wore on his body and those tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. In one of his pockets you find a half-eaten sweet-smelling mushroom. Set for chines of electrocution. Bodies contorted, limbs and proximity to accident it computers suggest painful death by electrocution. Electricity kills by stopping heart, which is like what happened. You don't see any entry or exit burns though, but there are not always present in low voltage electrocutions. And then we got first aid three. Painful death by electrocution, discoloration of the they suggest heart failure, which might be electricity, but there's a lack of burns, which makes that inconclusive. Some dried foamy spit, or barely detectable at the edge of the mouth, makes poison a much more likely culprit. Was so he was poisoned? But, uh, what's going on with the dead guy? Is he, uh... See if he's got oh, hey, hi again. What's uh, what can I do for you? We've examined the cause and doesn't appear to have been killed by electrician. It looks more like poison. What? That's, uh, that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? Man, what a, what a wacky world. We found this. What We found a half eaten mushroom. In oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> uh, hey, you probably Dude's, killed the guy. I don't know whether to let him out or don't not. Don't forget to think about getting this door open. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let him out. Let's... Oh, Let's... hey. What's uh, what can I do for you? Later I don't dudes. want to talk to you. I want to let uh, you out. Oh hey, hi again. What's uh, what can I do for you? Later, dudes, and uh, don't forget to. Th oh hey, hi again. What's uh, what can I do for? You? Yeah, man, you know it. I mean, we talked about it and all. So uh, yeah. If you find a way to open this later, dudes. What the fuck uh, that mate, then? Don't Does forget the to think about getting this door. Just stand on the dead guy. Terminal displays information on the system. Uh, I'm not going to read all that. How do I let him out, then? Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to live to regret that decision or not, but you know what? He seems like he'd been in there for a long time. And he was betrayed. He didn't actually earn his place in there, so... Fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I've done playthroughs where I haven't let him out, and I don't really notice anything sort of special with that. So, how the fuck do we get out of here? No, I can't remember. Let's turn the... Oh, here it is. Let's do a scoop around the outside and see what's the bait. There's a dog. You got a build in here. Let's go up. Now we'll look see, shall we? There's a chest. <laughs> Fucking scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, well... 
I need to change my underwear, but we got some armor from that. I was trying to edge closer in case there was a booby trap, but being what I thought with high perception, it would have picked it up, but it didn't for some reason. So we just, we got injured. Anyway, let's switch to our resident healer. Actually, no, let's not bother for a minute. I've got enough. All right. I feel refreshed. I didn't mean to do that, but either way. Oh, some buried items here. We found some dog shit. <laughs> and a moldy saw. You're not sure why you'd want to pick this up. But I gotta pick it up anyway. Mystery recipe to scare out. Well, yeah, mushrooms and dog turd, I guess. It's another diggable. Hang it. Underbarrel light weapon mod. This basic underbarrel attack. Underbarrel mod makes it easier to sight in the target. So, as I said, I, when it comes to this game, I find it very underappreciated. Even when you look for like mods for the game, there isn't very many at all. There's a couple which I've already shown you that shows you different like pictures that you can have for your characters. So these, these ones down here. Now in the wasteland, you'll find both weapon and armor mods. Installing the mod can improve any equipment is attached to, but once installed, they cannot be removed. To install a mod, uh, yeah. And then modding your gear, you need somebody to with mod, you know, weapon, smithing, and armor modding. But yeah, the other one, which I decided, well, the only one, other one I found any good, was the. There's one that lets you take mods back off weapons. So as you said there in the tutorial, you can't do that. But I have a mod on that actually lets me do that. So I mean, if you put a sight on a gun in real life, you'll be able to take it back off. So I thought it was. It wasn't very immersion breaking or nothing like that, so... There's plenty of, like, nude options if you want to, like, mod-wise, if you want to run around with nude characters. It's entirely up to you. What's the dog say? He's busy. What does this dog say? He curiously sniffs me. Awesome. There's a junk pile there as well. Putrefied tar as a crafting component. Is that it? What is this shiny chicken? A very shiny chicken. Cyborg chicken. Metal plated electronics are in the plant into this chicken's body. It looks up at you. Your sense of loneliness in his eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. There's a lonely chicken. An animal kennel. So we can store a major tomcat in the animal kennel, so we don't lose him. Well, that's new. That wasn't in here last time I did it. Major tomcat fixes his steely gaze on you, then wiggles his tail expectantly. He was just scratch behind the <laughs> behind the hat. Time for you to head out. Let's head back. Yeah. So yeah, if you like take the animal whisperer perk, you get a chance to like, for instance, talk to this dog and take the dog with you to fight with you. They give you like special bonuses. So for me, as you can see here, Scabby, Scrappy Tabby gives me a plus 2% strike rate. And then obviously because I'm in, in the leadership range, I get a 3% hit chance, which will go up as I increase his leadership. If you take Animal Whisperer, you, around the world there's cyborg chickens there. If you collect all of them at once, you can bring them back here and they will transform into one giant cyborg chicken which follows you around and <laughs> fights for you as well. Funnily enough, the same with the toasters. If you collect all of the toasters, then you get a mission pop-up where you go to a certain area and you essentially get a god toaster which follows you around and actually shoots burning toast at enemies. So there's fun little things like that in the game for like perks that might seem useless, useless and you'd be like oh where the fuck would I want to take that but there's actually some pretty cool stuff you can miss out on if you don't take it. I know over here somewhere there's some loot as well. There it is. We've got some bones and another mouldy sock. 
Here's my car. System, system, systems active. Systems active. Systems active. There's some snowballs there. Let's take snow drift. The balance there. Blah blah blah. Gather snowballs. Pee on them or walk away. Let's gather some normal ones. Not sure what normal ones do in battle. Never use them. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Make you check out for any other hidden loot. Oh yeah, there's some there. So we have to be pretty close, even though we got high percent from this old handkerchief. Where do we get up here? Is this one booby trap as well? There's a rabbit. We can recruit a rabbit if you want. There's a container there as well. What we got here? Multi capacitor, acid sludge, turret bin. Go down there. What's in this one? Colorado dollars and a book. Anything in this? No. Right, let's. We painted some armor, didn't we, before we got blown up, so. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I've got a feeling there might be something along one of these. Systems, systems, systems no? Must be. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's check my armor real quick. Uh, this guy needs legs, so we found some rad tech legs. Get some new plus three armor. Take those off, and then Price again needs legs, but we don't have any of that. Gives four armor. That's three armor, so he deserves that. What do normal snowballs do? Applies frozen. Okay. A shotgun air. That gives. She doesn't have enough strength for that, but that's four armor. Didn't I take some. I either did, yet. Yeah. Oh, I guess three armor, so yeah. And then Marshall Quan. Who has four strength can wear the ridiculous what looks like a bioshock helmet so everybody's got at least some extra protection and then we're gonna go to what was our mission now colorado springs isn't it which is let's pick up our mission log so yeah so the actual missions where we help the patriarch they are way out of our level yet we're only level 3 and you have to be at least level 9, 19 and 17. So... Cornered rats. Talk to Sheriff Daisy so we can go to Colorado Springs. So let's make this one our active mission. And... I think you leave the world by clicking on these, so... Do you want to travel to down down Colorado Springs? Yes, we do. Before being reduced to ruins and in the war, the Academy in Colorado Springs trained officer cadets for the United States Air Force. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you did, then please consider leaving a like or a sub. It is greatly appreciated, but you don't have to, of course. It's entirely up to you. It just helps me out and helps my channel grow. Most of all, though, a massive thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.